Arim Bridge in its new version introduced a new element, a bilinear spring with hysteretic behavior. First, we will see here the general behavior of this element. We have on the screen a curve describing the behavior of the spring with the displacement compared with the force, and we clearly see that we have an hysteretic behavior. But let's see how we get this. Here is the model, a column supported by a spring. This spring has been defined as type as bilinear hysteretic. Then we will see the meaning of the different parameters. If we go to the stiffness in the y direction and help us with the help of the software, we can see that first we define the linear stiffness used in linear calculation, then non-linear stiffness that we'll use. We define then the limit of the yield force in positive and negative. And after this limit, the stiffness is multiplied by an alpha coefficient. Here in the y direction, both for negative and positive, we define a second stiffness as half of the value of the first stiffness. But in the z direction, we will modify a little and we will put a coefficient which is equal to 0.1. Now let's see our model and the load that we put on this model. If we look at the load case, we see a mass load, but also we see a tint load, which is so. We see the, a table which is used to define the load, which is load set multiplied by a table. The load set is mainly uh, an imposed deflection given at the node, so at the node 1000 at the top of our um, spring. This displacement is multiplied by a table. So this table is entered in the variable. And if we want to see uh, another view of this table, we can simply draw a diagram of this. So let's use the PVAR function that will create this table. And here we see the table of the value that multiply the displacement. You see that in the first five seconds, nothing happens. That's why we have multiplied this by TS minus five. Now let's impose this. If you usually uh, take the usual uh, diagram to see that, we can plot the value of the force and the different values of the displacement of the nodes. But it is quite difficult to see and to observe the hysteretic behavior of the spring just by seeing these different diagrams and which doesn't link the force to the displacement. That's why for this new version, we have also defined a new way to define a diagram and which is instead of linking a value like here to the time, we will link a value by to another value. Let's see this new RM set. This new RM set called R R East, which is response history diagram, where you define any curve that you want. But for this curve, we give in X and Y two different values. A displacement for the element, for example, 4000 at the beginning or the end, linked with, for the same direction, the force. Then we can choose the color of this curve, but we can define also in a second curve another linking. So we will do for the second curve, link the same thing, but in the Z direction. So this block curve is linking the displacement in Z direction with the force in the Z direction. Let's run. And now we see these two curves. So in the first linear behavior, we have the same curve, but as soon as we reach the yield force, you can see now that in Z and Y, the curve is different because of these different coefficients, 0.1 and 0.5. That's why we get these two hysteretic curves for our spring.